In this video, I'll be tying a Ghost Wing CDC Hatchmaster. This is a great little fly during a Blue Wing Olive the Betis uh, hatch. When dry, use it as a dry fly. And when it gets wet, you can be using it as an emerger. It takes on the characteristics of emerger. Best results that I've had uh, with this fly on the water has been as an emerger in sizes 18 and 20 on standard hooks and sizes 17 and 19 on uh, when you're using, say, like a um, 212Y TMC hook, which comes in odd sizes using 17 and 19. Anyway, let's get started and uh, we'll take out the finished fly. And for this video, um, I'm going to be using a size 15 TMC 212Y hook, a little bit larger than I would use on the waters so we could uh, better see the, the tying of the fly. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put a uh, thread base on the shank of the hook with a jam knot. And we're going to be using Nature Spirit CDC feathers. And for the abdomen, which I'm going to be putting on uh, first, uh, we're going to be using a light olive color. For the wings and the uh, thorax, we'll be using a uh, olive gray color. CDC. So I'm just stroking the barbs down along the shank and to help get these barbs to, to get into the position I want, I'm going to be using a little Ovis Floating. Just it's a paste and I just a very little bit between your index finger and your thumb helps control these fibers. So a neat there we go. Put that feather on with two pinch wraps and two or three firm wraps, and we have the abdomen of the fly. Cut off the material a little more trim in here and secure that feather onto the hook next we're going to put on the ghost wings and uh, be using two of the olive gray CDC feathers, put them together, cut off the, the butts, and lay them down in the middle of the thorax with one pin trap, two pin traps, and then secure them in tightly. Then put them up vertically and stroke the fibers up and then bend the feathers down to get the approximate or the size of the wing. Then tie in two or three wraps in the back and several in the front. And I just cut off the excess material. And 
and secure the wings in. You can go behind, pull forward, down and around, behind again, pull forward, and I'll get the wings to stand up vertically. Now we just want to trim off some of the fibers along the wings and separate them. So the thread we're using today is a Gordon Shear size 14 uh, thread. Um, the reason I'm using it because it splits uh, easily. Uh, and I'm gonna be uh, using a CDC Tough for the Nature Spirit. And I'm gonna put that in uh, when I split the uh, thread uh, to make a, a CDC hackle to finish off the fly over the thorax. So I'm first gonna spin the bobbin a number of turns uh, counterclockwise, and that will sort of open up the thread, flatten it out. So I can easily split it with a needle. And then I'm going to take one CDC tough and put it in between. Cut off the butt. Separate some of the fibers here and then spin the bobbin clockwise. We'll lock in and all the fibers of the CB, CDC tough. And I'm going to wrap that around and a hackle. And then we're going to tie off a nice little neat head. Secure that with. Three wraps and cut off the thread, separate the wings. Now we're going to cut off the tail, trim a little bit, and then take your bokken and bend the stem of the CD abdomen feather up so it's sticking up almost uh, vertically. This is basically the way they may fly floating, done floating down the The water. A little trim in here. And here we have a finished Ghost Wing CDC Hatchmaster fly. Thanks for watching.